Good day, everyone. It's my very special pleasure to join you at this Global Youth Summit. In March 2020, when the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic, I doubt whether anyone knew how fundamentally all aspects of our lives would be affected, or for that matter, how we would adapt to the disruption to our daily lives. But today, virtual conferences and video messaging, such as the one I'm sending across today, have become the new normal. The mandatory use of digital technology across all facets of life has been embraced by the public and private sectors. The world has shown resilience and innovation through it all, especially in such sectors as health, logistics, emergency response, and social services. I'm delighted to note in particular that many of these responses have been led by young people. And this is especially so in our country, Nigeria, where young people have been significantly involved in our COVID-19 response, especially through several technology-enabled interventions. A young lady, Dr. Ola Brown, and her company, Flying Doctors, worked with government to build two testing centers and three laboratories in Lagos. Her team also invented a testing booth and a mobile test vehicle to make testing cheaper and keep healthcare workers safe. Temi Giwa, the founder of LifeBank, worked with government to launch mobile drive through and walk-in testing centers in Lagos and Oyo states. Through their efforts, they increased the country's testing capacity. The LifeBank team also launched QUIP, a national asset register that makes critical equipment such as respirators, ventilators, and ICU beds for treatment and management of COVID-19 available to hospitals. The team reached 2,000 hospitals and found over 800 pieces of essential equipment in Nigeria. They also expanded their air bank services to 10 isolation centers across six cities in the country, delivering free oxygen to patients with COVID-19. Nora Jubrin and Willem Giang repurposed abandoned equipment at the George University Teaching Hospital in Plateau State of Nigeria into ventilators to use for critically ill patients during the pandemic and Chukuma Wachuku won a UNICEF-sponsored competition to support innovation in the fight against the virus. His solution focused on the use of solar panels to create a sustainable water supply system to combat the virus. All these activities are envisioned and driven by young Nigerians leveraging innovation and technology in practical and useful ways to meet the peculiar challenges of healthcare delivery and other social services, especially in far-flung and often poor communities. So for us, the Global Youth Initiative is not just an important and relevant response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We believe that the effective mobilization of young people could be a game changer for the delivery of social goods in Nigeria. So on behalf of the government of Nigeria, we welcome and endorse the global youth mobilization for Generation Disrupted. Thank you very much.